Hi guys, this is Ian and in this tutorial uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to sing and play the song I Won't Give Up by Jason Mraz. Now, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going, I'm going to be covering five main things and these are I'm going to give you some simple chords, simple strumming pattern, I'm going to demonstrate the entire song using the simple chords and the simple strumming pattern, I'm going to step you through the entire song to show you where the chords fit in with the lyrics and at the end of the tutorial, I'm going to uh, give you some additional tips for those of you who are absolute beginners and also uh, possibly introduce you to some chords, uh, which I don't normally cover in my tutorials, but could actually help you make the song sound uh, closer to the original version of the song. Okay, So that's what we're going to be doing in today's tutorial. So to quickly get started, um, today um, this tutorial is going to be in the key of C and the chords which we're going to be using today are C major G major F major A minor and D minor okay so C G F A minor and D minor alright so those are five chords now, for those of you who aren't familiar with those chords, or if you're not sure exactly how to press them, please check out the chords list, which is available on the LearnGuitarFastSips.com website. Uh, if you're on the YouTube channel, the link to the site is down in the description below. So basically, the, the chord list shows you, um, uh, it lists down all the chords which I cover in these tutorials, and it shows you uh, videos um, which explain precisely how to actually press um, the chords which I talk about in the tutorials, okay? And also I list these chords down in the tutorial notes, so please refer to the tutorial notes uh, which are available through the link in the description below if you're on the YouTube channel or just below if you're watching this uh, on the learnguitarfastips.com website. Okay, So um, those are the chords. Uh, next thing I'm going to show you is the strumming pattern. Now this strumming pattern is, is different from what I normally teach in the tutorials and will actually it's more consistent with the original rhythm of the song. So in, for today's tutorial, uh, for those of you who are beginners, the strumming pattern which you're going to be using is, is quite simple. It's just downstrokes if you're an absolute beginner, where you go down, 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 okay? And so that's the most basic strumming pattern. So for those of you who are a bit more advanced and you feel more comfortable doing upstrokes, what you'd be playing is down, 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 okay? So that's a strumming pattern which I'm going to be using during the full demonstration, okay? So if you're an absolute beginner and you're not comfortable with doing upstrokes yet, I encourage you to try it when you can, but if you can't, just stick with the the downstrokes only pattern until you want to give the upstrokes a try, okay? So with that, those are the chords, those are the strumming pattern. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to demonstrate the entire song for you, showing you how to use the chords and the strumming pattern together, and what it would sound like, for example, if you were to use it uh, to play the, the actual song. Okay. So before that, as usual, I'd like to apologize if I make any glitches, but please, uh, the purpose of the demonstration is for you to get an idea of what the chords and the strumming pattern all sound like together with the song. All right. I don't mean to glitch, but sometimes I do, and if I do, I do apologize. So, with that, um, this is going to be a full demonstration of um, I Won't Give Up um, by Jason Mraz on acoustic guitar.
so navigating I'll be here patiently waiting To see what you find Cause even the stars, they burn Some even fall to the earth We got a lot to learn God knows we're worth it Someone who walks away so easily I'm here to stay Make the difference that I can make Our differences we do a lot To teach us how to use our tools and gifts Yeah, we got a lot at stake And in the end you're still my friend At least we did in time for us to work We didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend Love the world, gave it in Had to learn what I got Okay, so that's what the song could sound like if you were using um, the chords and the strumming pattern uh, which I showed you earlier. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step you through the entire song to show you where the chords fit in with the actual lyrics of the song. All right, so um, this song is pretty uh, can be broken up into a couple of parts. You have your intro, you have your verse, uh, chorus, um, bridge, and then your final chorus. Okay, so starting with the intro. Um, the song, uh, in the uh, when you listen to the music video where Jason Mraz, he's basically he's plucking the intro where it goes, dun 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 dun. So basically, the intro is uh, what you're doing is you're playing through the entire verse, but without uh, or you're playing through half of the verse. Uh, without actually doing any sort of singing. So what you do is you start with C, then F, and then C again. Okay, and just note, um, during the demonstration just now, I wasn't playing F major, I was actually playing F7, which is an easier variation of F for those of you who are beginners and don't feel comfortable with playing F major. Okay, so this is F major, and this is F7. Okay. Now, for, I'll talk about it a bit more later, but I just want to let you know in case some of you were listening and heard that, okay, that doesn't sound like F major. Okay, So to let you know, uh, during the demonstration, I was using F7, and now during the explanation, I'm going to be using F7 as well. Okay, So quickly getting back to the explanation, the intro starts with C, and then you go to F7, or you go to F major, or F7, whichever you like. So it starts with C, dun, 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 F, dun, then back to C, dun, 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 C, F, dun, then back to C again, dun, 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 F, dun, then C, dun, 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 then G. Okay, so you're playing it's from C, F, C, F, C, F, C, and then G, okay? So, um, and after that, you go straight into the first verse from G, where it ends on G. When I look into F, your then C eyes, it's like watching the F night, and then C sky, or a beautiful F sun, then C rise, there's so much they G. 
And just like them, F O C stars. I see that you've F come so C far to be right where F U and C R. How old is your G so? Then you go into the chorus, which starts with I won't give F up. On C, us, even if the A minor skies get G rough, I'm giving you F O my and C love. I'm still looking G up. Then you go into the second verse where it starts with, and when you're needing F, your C space. To do some F Navin C Gating I'll be here F Patiently C Waiting To see what you G Find And then the second chorus is different from the first chorus And in the original version of the song he goes higher Where he goes Cause even the Then F Stars play then C, burn. But if you're not comfortable with shh going high like that, what you can do is just just keep it low like the first chorus, okay? So in the chorus you can start with like to see what you find. Cause even the stars they burn. You can do that instead of going, cause even the stars and so it's up to you. But the second chorus, um, from the second last time the second verse, to see what you find, G. The second chorus starts with Cause even the F stars, they see burn Some even A minor fall to the G Earth, we've got a F love to see Love, God knows we're G worth it No, I won't give an F up that for a bit. No, I won't give up. And from there you go into the bridge where it starts with And I, I don't want to be someone who walks away so easily. And for this, it's basically F for quite a long while before you switch to G. And then it goes to D minor. And then it goes to G, and it goes back to D minor, and ends on C. All right, that's how the bridge goes. So the easiest way to show you is just to show you the individual chords and to try and uh, talk you through um, the bridge, because this can be a bit tricky to sing and to play as well. So it's about knowing the timing. So even I kind of screw up a little bit. So I'm going to try and explain this as precisely as possible. So starting with the first, starting with F. And I don't want to be some one who walks one who walks away so easily. I'm here to stay, make the difference that I can make. Okay, so starting with F. And I don't want to be some one who walks away so easily. I'm here to stay and make the difference that. Then go to G. I can. straight into
to the final chorus, alright? Where it goes, I will give F up on C us even if the A minor skies get G rough. I'm giving you F all my and then C no I'm still looking G up still looking up I won't give F up on and then C us God knows I'm and this is where the lyrics change a bit it says God knows I'm A minor tough E G enough we've got a F line to C learn God knows we're G worth it and then for the last time when you sing the chorus, you can play single strums the way I did just to kind of ease off and finish off the song. So it goes, I won't give F up on C plus Even if the A minor sky is get G rough I'm giving you F all my C love Still looking G up and then you can just end the song like that, okay? So that's basically me stepping through the entire song with the chords and showing where everything fits. So um, before I move along with um, any additional beginner tips if I can think of, well, basically the main beginner tip I would give for this song is um, instead of playing F major, use F7 instead. Like if, you, if you're not comfortable with pressing the F chord and you find yourself continuously struggling when you're trying to do fast chord changes, okay? And if you're playing F7, when you're switching between C and F7, all you're doing is moving these two fingers, which is really good for this song because F and C, F and C, F and C, that is the progression which happens quite regularly in the song. So you just be going, when I look into F7, yo, then you move up, C, high, you'll be watching the F7, nine. Then C, sky. Okay, so use F7 if you're having trouble with pressing the F major chord. But I do recommend that you practice the F major chord whenever you can, and just use F7 if, let's say, you know you're struggling with it and you just want to get through the song in an emergency. Okay, now for those of you who are a little bit more advanced, or you feel like, or you know, if you feel like you're comfortable with pressing chords and the fundamentals, and you want to learn new chord, um, for the original version of the song, instead of playing um, like here in the demonstration, I use D minor. So instead of using D minor, uh, I use D minor in the bridge. Instead of using D minor, uh, I would recommend that you use the B flat chord. This chord is also known as A sharp. Okay, so use the B flat chord instead of the D minor chord uh, during the bridge where it goes. And in the end, you're still my friend. At least we didn't intend for us to work. We didn't break. We didn't burn. Okay, so just replace D minor with B flat. Okay. And that, that should make the song sound more accurate towards um, the original version of the song. And if you're not sure how to play B flat, um, as usual, check out the chords list, which is on the learnguitarfastips.com website, or check out the tutorial notes if you just want to uh, refer to if you forgot what I said basically in this video. But it's all listed down there in the tutorial notes uh, if you want to check it out later. Okay, so use B flat instead of D minor. That's if you want to learn a new chord and make the song sound closer to the original version. Okay, so now Jason Raz sings this song in the key of E. The tutorial just now was in the key of C. So if you want to play along with the original version or if you want to sing in the same key as Jason Raz, you're going to need a capo. Like this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Get a capo and capo it onto the fourth fret. One, two, three, four. Okay, these are frets. One, two, three, four. Capo to it to the yeah. Capo it onto the fourth fret, and then just use the chords which you learned in the tutorial. Okay, and you'll be playing in the same key as Jason Raz. Okay, which is in the key of E. So the way it would sound would be something like this. When I look into your eyes, it's like watching the night sky. A beautiful sunrise. There's so much they hold. Okay, so that's the key which Jason Raz was singing, the key of E. All right, and 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 that said, you know, if you're not comfortable with singing it in the key of C or in the key of E, you use the capo and just find a key or a position 
that you clip it on where when you sing the song it's easy for you to hit the low notes and the high notes okay you don't have to it's not written in stone you don't have to sing it the same way Jason Mraz does sing it in the way which feels comfortable for you and enjoy the song as much as you can all right so use the capo and that can help you with that finding the range which fits you okay so um with that let's see what have I forgotten all right anyway for those of you who are beginners as usual um um, and if this is the first time you're watching this video, I just want to quickly explain that the reason, the purpose of these song tutorials is actually to help you practice the fundamentals which you learn in the free beginner guitar course which is available on the learnguitarfarsips.com website. And basically the, the fundamental principle of the whole site, the way it works is you check out the free beginner course, you learn those eight chords which I teach you there and the basic strumming patterns and you know go through the basic uh, fundamental beginner question stuff it's really really short and that gives you the basis for uh, going through these song tutorials because the song tut in the song tutorials we cover basically um, we only use we use primarily um, uh, the eight chords which are taught in the free beginner course and the purpose of the song tutorials is to give you a way where you can have fun while strengthening your fundamentals like your strumming pressing chords and changing chords, all right? So the whole idea is just keep repetitively making you learn those chords, learn those strumming patterns, and doing it until it, be, it feels really natural to you, okay? And once it feels natural to you, you've reached the first step of being a guitarist, you know? That's the point at which you can actually go and perform and play. And even though you're not the best, greatest, fantasticest guitarist in the world, you are good enough to play and perform, okay? And that's what that's the purpose of these song tutorials to strengthen your fundamentals to that point. And once you know you're comfortable with that, with basics like that, then um, you will be able to progress and learn other things um, more quickly as well. New chords, different strumming patterns, and that sort of thing. Okay. So basically, go through the free beginning guitar course if you're still struggling with the fundamentals, and then come back, find a song which uh, you really enjoy, and just keep practicing it until the fundamentals feel you know till everything starts to feel more natural okay with that said there is a song list uh, I have other tutorials and you can check out the song list which is on the website learnguitarfarsips.com and it lists all the tutorials which I currently have available on the website alright so check them out there if you're interested in trying other songs as well okay so with that um, also if you haven't yet I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel or to like the Facebook page um, because um, that's where I will um, like if you want to stay updated to new content which gets posted to YouTube usually um, if you if you subscribe to the YouTube channel you get notified if you subscribe if you like us on the Facebook page that's generally where I post stuff which um, may not be in video format but I'll usually post all the tutorials there as well so you can like that page so that you can stay updated for new content okay and also if you like to support the site please feel free to share the site tell your friends um, do anything you want with the, the videos and just let people know that the site exists uh, those of your friends who you feel would be interested in trying to learn uh, to play the guitar okay and with that said um, if you'd like to reach me directly or if you'd like to say hi or for uh, have if you have a song to request or for whatever reason um, feel free to leave a comment down in the post below if you're on the site or down in the YouTube channel below if you're on YouTube or you can reach me directly through the contact form which is on the learnguitarfarsips.com website okay so my name is Ian if you want to get in touch with me and with that um, thanks again for watching and I want to wish you all the best with your practice and also remember as I like to always say it's important to have fun and in order to stay motivated throughout your learning because if you're not having fun then learning basically sucks all right so with that i hope this tutorial has helped you and with that you know i won't give up you never give up and i look forward to seeing you in the next video all right thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon